studied abroad and visited lots of other art scenes nationally and internationally, we recognised that there was a real gap in Leeds and it was kind of crying out for someone to do something and we wanted to stay in Leeds and we wanted to be the ones to do something. I've, I've learned a lot more outside of the university framework. I found I didn't, I don't know how much I benefited from that kind of rigid format other than it motivated me to do something once I'd left. Leeds has got quite a vibrant scene but it's still really quite segregated um, and there's lots of people trying to make it more cohesive. I'm one of them and trying to consolidate it and make it more accessible and more visible. It's a gallery space. At times it's had a shop within it to subsidise the rent. We're kind of situated, we're kind of an intervention in the middle of a shopping centre and people come in and they benefit from it on a daily basis. They stumble across it and they're interested in it and they don't perceive us as kind of um, you know, dandies who are kind of rinsing the system and just like getting all this money that should be spent elsewhere, they actually appreciate it and they can understand that it is kind of hard work at the same time. It runs kind of cooperatively, that was the ethos of it, that um, Anna and I were the curators and directors but we wanted to work with other artists in the city and get them involved in it and so we started developing this constrained art friend network of artists that could work in the space and contribute time and the money that they had and the, who we could curate shows with on a project by project basis. It's been hard work because most of have had like two or three jobs most of the time. Um, we've, we've been able to, we were able to secure Arts Council funding which helped a lot but still I mean a lot of my contemporaries work they have a regular job um, and they balance it with their art practice kind of they spend four days working spend three days making art and for a lot of people that's the only way it can be done and you know you can't just especially if you want some autonomy and independence if you don't want just to sell your work through mainstream galleries if you're lucky enough to to do that if you view that being lucky that you can kind of make a living purely out of the sales of your artwork and I know that a lot of people um, of my generation aren't interested in that and they don't mind separating money-making from artwork making and they can deal with that. I also think there's this really patronising mentality that thinks that everyone in the general public hasn't got any appreciation of art whatsoever and uh, it's not true, like that's the great thing about the art market.